Hello Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another 12-12 AD Siege View today. It is a 3v3 and this is an excellent siege battle that I took part in with some subs. So if you want to join in some of these excellent siege battles that we have, and then do join the Discord which is down below in the description. And yeah, you can take part in all of these amazing uh, siege battles that we have. And yes, we have the Templars here again today. So if you enjoyed the Templar mini-series, well, you're going to see a hell of a lot more Templars today. Look at these boys. Excellent, as always, in their red and white. But yes, so I am playing in this one as Flanders, with two allies playing as Portugal, which we rarely see. And I'm pretty sure the other faction is the Empire of Nicaea. So an Ek 2 good choices to come as rarely see Portugal so it'd be nice to see them out on the battlefield an interesting tactic by Nicaea is to bring a lot of militia spearmen will these uh, low tier units um, do well against the higher tier we will find out but I mean look at them these ragtag men they look they're already shaking in their boots they don't know what to do but yes hopefully the Christ can uh, guide them I mean I love the banners for Byzantium or the Byzantine factions I should say there's no Byzantium but um, yes, they do have some really good looking uh, flags or banners, I should say. It looks like uh, Jerusalem, who is facing me over here, or mainly most of me, I am kind of defending this sector. He's taking out all the towers as we speak. Um, before he opens up a breach, he's going to play of ammo left to take out a breach. The rules were one artillery, two pikes if they wanted them, or halberdiers, whatever they chose. Three shock infantry, which I'm pretty sure all the attackers will have brought, and four archers and that is all they're allowed to bring obviously well four range so they could bring archers or crossbows and drew some here has brought a mix which is not a bad decision does look like burgundy who is one of the other attackers has brought pikemen to the field he's just brought the single pike unit probably a smart move don't want to rely too heavily on pikes and then we have trier over here bringing some halberdiers along with obviously his culverine i think every guy every single attacker has brought a culverine so yes, I mean, Trier probably is the most scary out of all these, mainly because, uh, well, they got their Trier Sword Infantry, which are very, very good and pretty cheap for the price. And But I mean, yes, and he's also got his Electric Guard back here, which is also pretty nasty. But yes, uh, and the only, only hope we have is really that uh, these Jerusalem like troops here, they're Tier 1. I mean, he does have Tier 3 and 2 in here as well, but... Um, he does have tier 1 stuff. Hopefully that will give us an advantage. I think he's got more tier 1 somewhere. Yeah, there you go. More tier 1 here on the walls. This month of Templar Knights. I feel like bringing them is worth it. Because who doesn't want to bring Templars to a fight? They're great. But we do have some excellent defences over here. Look at this barricade that we have ready to go here with crossbows ready. Firing down in the street. We've got Pavis here. And, well, the first... I don't know if it's happened yet. Okay. I don't know if we're going to see it now or in a moment. But... This part of the building comes down and collapses onto these Pavis, uh, Pavis uh, spears. Here we go. It's about to happen. Look at that. <laughs> just, what is the look? And that unit's gone from 120 to 83. And we just saw it and we're like, right, get these guys out of here. And it's about to happen again. Look, it nearly fell there. The look of that. I think he was aiming for... I'm not really sure what he was aiming for. Because he's also trying to take this wall out. I think it was just a stray shot. But that stray shot killed 40 odd men. So um, a small victory there for the attackers early on. But we are ready. I mean look at this. We have a lot of troops out here which we don't actually necessarily need. I think it's mainly Jelson with his uh, spears. Or not his spears. His Portuguese. He does have spears here. But um, with most of his army. But I mean it certainly will threaten Trier. Trier is almost going up against two armies. Um, because he's also going up against Nicaea. But Nicaea is almost going up against two armies himself. With Burgundy. And Trier. They're kind of like. No one's going. Only really me and Jerusalem are going 1v1. And even then, I'm not truly going all out against Jerusalem because I'm going to be helping Burgundy a bit. But the towers are starting to move. We'll fast forward while this happens. But um, yeah, there's not masses going on. I mean, as you can see, they're just making holes in the wall and they're sending troops forward. There may be some cuts um, in this one because it, it, there are some slow parts, but. Mainly, uh, it's all action to the very end. So, hope you guys are enjoying the content on the channel at the moment. I um, really appreciate all the support we're getting lately. Keep it up with your likes, subscribes, and comments down below. Um, and yeah, let's just 
keep up with the support guys i'm really loving it so far and uh, i appreciate it and i'm glad you're enjoying the content as well as this culverine moves forward clearly getting a better shot or a better angle i think yeah he, he's trying to take out i think jerusalem is trying to take out this wall here or this one no it's this one here yeah, I guess he wants to get a little bit closer now that the towers are knocked out. So I'm going to make a cut, and I'm going to make a cut to when like the first engagements begin. Um, wherever that is. I don't think it's too far in the future, but I don't want you guys just to wait around and uh, just watch towers come forward. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield, and it's not the first conflict like clashing, but there you go. There is a mortar for the defenders, uh, brought by Nicaea, and it's like, they landed in here, they're not all exploded, but this is a huge clumping up here by Trier. First real mistake is making, Archers also firing in, you can see the damage that's been done already. Will there be an explosion? I'm not sure, will there? Yeah, there's one, one's gone off. I don't know if they all go off, if they're, uh, like, reliability. There's another hit. Some... Unlucky individuals getting hit there, but I mean, I think that's uh, that's the mortar that's not going to be firing anymore. It's the first clumping, but yes, it's all the way back here, right in the uh, town center. I think he's actually going to fire another another salvo. Yes, excellent. Where's that one going? Over here. Oh, he's going for the um, shock infantry. Not a bad target. Yeah, none of them exploded though. See, that's really weird. So I guess it just depends. Oh, there you go. There, one's gone off there. Didn't think one landed there, but um, so it seems like they all just go off randomly, and uh, it just depends. Like that entire salvo, none went off. Here you go. Here are the balls. This poor guy on his own died. Yeah, that one. Oh, they did go off, but just a bit late. So yeah, I mean they're gonna. That's gonna be a problem for the defenders. I mean not the defenders, the attackers. There's been constant problems with the. Uh, the mortars, but it looks like the first clash of infantry is about to begin. It's going to be this weakened unit of Pavis Spears going up against some dismounted Chevaliers from Burgundy. And there we go, the first clash of infantry. All the bright colours of Flanders and Burgundy. Now the Pavis aren't going to get many kills, but they're going to be just holding up the enemy for such a long time that it allows the archers back here, as you can see, to get Lots and lots of kills, and they're focusing down some foot turkopoles brought by Jerusalem. Um, good target to take out for the defenders because we need to take out as many of their archers as possible so they can't use the ammo on that final defense. If it gets to a final defense, we don't want them to uh, have plenty of ammo left. So, good way to get rid of ammo if they can't expend it kill the, uh, kill the archers. Because I think most of the attackers have also still got their culverines, which is a problem. Yeah, I mean, Drewsome still got his culverine with about a third of his ammo left. Um, you could say about half ammo for Burgundy, and looks like Trier's also got his left with probably about half ammo as well. But yeah, it's going to be two units of archers, just basic archers, up against tur foot turkopoles. I'd say they're going to win this fight just because of sheer ammunition. They've just got more to expend into this one unit, but they do need to be careful. They don't want to have to expend too much. And I am setting up some Flemish Pabby's crossbows now. To just do some more damage and just get that armor piercing uh, effect on those foot turquoise because they do have armor. Those uh, militia spears are now in combat against some chevaliers as well. They've also sent up some uh, Rus mercenaries. Some brave Kievian Rus troops have been uh, sent over to Byzantium to help out in the fight. It just kind of looked like a Byzantine... Uh, city with the, with the basilica I guess back there and yeah just kind of so you could say that I don't know Nicaea is defending with Flanders and put yeah this is a weird scenario this would never happen Portugal's the entire wrong side of the Mediterranean but these foot chevaliers they're also only tier one so I mean they are up against tier one uh, troops as well so that it should be an even fight but when they do come up against uh, more nasty stuff, say like my Pavis, which are tier 3, or my uh, Flemish Sergeants back here, which do look excellent. Um, I think they're going to get outmatched, just mainly tier 3 against tier 1. But their sheer numbers that they could put in here, they may, might do okay. I mean, they're killing a couple of dismounted Chevaliers here with these Pavis, but they are slowly losing, slowly getting pushed back. We are going to need to send some more units in. Some militia spears are ready. Oh, the 
Mortar is also hitting in here. Excellent. This will really help the fight. I mean, this is actually quite a big build-up now. Um, what else have we got here? We've got... These are like order swords. We've got foot... Foot turkle poles. Are we going to see some explosions? Come on. I'm waiting on the explosions to go off. There we go. And another one. Excellent. That's going to cause absolute havoc for this turkle poles. Look at the amount of bloody bodies down here now. That is ridiculous. Um, so I can imagine these guys, yep, yeah, wavering all wet already. This one's uh, not looking too great. It's 91 already. Over here, it does look like Portugal has engaged uh, Trier. What has he got in the front line then? He's just got some spearmen. Uh, no name for them apart from just spearmen. Basic spearmen. We've got more militia spears and we've got Roost Mercenaries here as well. This is three units up against, well, two. They should do okay. Shock infantry already in here and Trier... Swords. Um, these guys will probably do okay. They probably do need to actually put three units in here because these are, well, the spearmen for Portugal are tier three, but the other two are tier one defending this choke point. So they might make quick work, work of these guys, but with some archer help, they may break through. Who knows? Look to the standard bearer indeed. Look at that officer back here. It looks awesome. That guy looks goddamn sexy with his uh, big old plume. But we've got lots of stuff set back here. These archers need to be careful they don't go into combat. I'm not really... What are they aiming at? Oh, they're firing here. Oh, actually, this is a good angle for those archers. Shooting into the flank of these Treyas swords. Yeah, you don't really need to set anything else in here. These halberdiers are just going to be doing work. Um, Treyas could do with setting up some crossbows to certainly help and shoot those uh, halberdiers. He's got another unit of Treyas swords back here. They're ready to go in. And there's now engagements over here as well. Jerusalem has engaged against my pavies here. But, I mean, look at the amount of fire. He's got these crossbows here firing at him. He's got the towers back here. I think these archers, yeah, these archers back here from Portugal also firing in here. This is an absolute murder pit. You do not want to be here. You do not want to be one of these Templars. Look at these brave men. These holy warriors being sent in to die. But if you haven't checked out the Templar Ambush, I do recommend you go and do so. I'm sure I'll leave a link to it somewhere. It's a great, great battle. And uh, part of a great mini-series that we are creating at the moment on the channel. Yeah, I think these guys are eventually going to break. Um, yeah, losing decisively. Look at that. The tree's on fire. We're setting a light to all the environment, not just men are dying today. It looks like the environment's going to die today. But, I mean, yeah, these Order Swords are breaking. The uh, Dismount Chempal Knights actually aren't doing too bad. The Tier 1's actually surviving longer than the Silver Chevron Tier 3. So, I guess these Templars are a bit harder than expected. But, I mean, these Pavis are uh, actually losing as well. But they're, ju they're just holding up. They may not be getting many kills, but they're, uh, you know, they're holding up what... Um, so the archers can get a lot of kills. My, my pavy's here broke. It's now down to some malicious spear to hold this choke point. Good God, we put a lot of faith in these men. I mean, what else have we got in here now? We've got dismounted chevaliers. We have more order swordsmen in here. So a bit of a covert op, op here by the uh, Jerusalem and Burgundian player. But those pavies breaking into the back. I think they might actually rally. They're not broke. They're just broken. So they might actually rally. And we can surround these guys. And there you go, they rallied. So we can surround these guys. So I'm desperately trying to give these guys the order to go in. But um, these foot turquoise focusing them down in the back. A real shame. What? I hear more horns. Oh, my Pavis crossbows, they look like they're going to go into combat. No need for that. Roost Mercenaries coming up now to help support here. So it looks like Nicey is really taking the brunt of the first wave. I'm taking a little bit fighting Jerusalem, but I mean, props to Nicey. He's doing really well. He's uh, basically fighting on every single front. Over here, it looks like Trier is sending in more infantry to try and break through here. The halberdiers, where are they? Oh, they're back here. They need to move because they're just getting focused down, I'm sure. Yeah, by these crossbows here. 
Yeah, they've lost two men since I've been here. They need to just start moving. What have we got here? We've got archers. I'd just maybe focus on those Pavi's crossbows. But it's going to be tough. If I was... um. Also, who's this firing here? This is uh, Dr not Jerusalem. Why do I want to call him Jerusalem? They don't even look like Jerusalem. Um, Portugal here. Portugal might as well just hold his fire. Like, he's going to win this fight, I think. If he sent those militia spears and to support those swords, he certainly win. Well, I don't know if he will win this fight. He's losing decisively here, but um, he's not getting a great angle, is what I should say. I mean, he's doing really well over here. Look at this. This is the huge flank I'm on about, though. This is a lot of troops that they're committing, though, to this uh, assault here. And they're just quite happily shooting away at, uh, at them. Have they got any halberds here? They do have halberds. So if I was... Um, if I was Portugal, I'd just be sending up my halberds. I'd be sending up the spears as well. And here we go. He's actually being aggressive with his halberds. It's a bold move. And here we go. This is going to be a huge fight here. Those halberds are not really going to be doing any good there now. Yeah, they got their swords out. Or no, actually no, they haven't. I can see halberds. But they're not doing the greatest they could do. Look at that officer. He's all in armor. He's pretty damn awesome. But yeah, I would imagine um, since the halberds are not really well set up by uh, Trier, I'm going to say that Trier is going to lose this fight. Also, just because of the sheer amount that Portugal is actually committing to this. Look at the amount of troops. And then most of his elite troops. And he's got cavalry back here. Wow, he's actually, yeah, he's committing a lot. What, whose cavalry is this? Oh, this is um, nice. He's got cavalry over here as well. I mean, but if they can break through here, they can cause a, a lot of problems for Trier. And Trier's, I mean, he's not actually got masses of stuff left. He's got, I think, yeah, most of his in infantry's are in. It's just a shock infantry left. I mean, though he is breaking a uh, nice area here. This is a cause for a problem. This is actually Burgundy here, actually. Burgundy's doing most of this. But it looks like uh, nice is desperately having to send up some stuff. What's he setting up? We've got more Portuguese stuff going in and nice here. Looks like they're coming a lot of their reserves. Is the mortar firing again? No, it's not. Well, what a shame. We are breaking... Um, the fight here. I mean, we broke that Jerusalem unit, but the Pavis are gone. And now, the crossbows are just shooting. I don't even know who they're shooting at. Probably all the guys down here. Look at this. They're just like, hello, don't mind us. We're just here. Looking down on them. I think I need to get some swords up. Yep, there we go. Some Flemish sergeants coming in. And the fight over here is starting now as well. And uh, we've got Portugal's got his archers in combat, which he really needs to get out because they have ammo. Uh, we've got two units of Flemish sergeants against... Uh, Order swords and more Templars. I just love the colour scheme of, of Flanders. I know that it's like their historical colours. But I mean, I just... That black and yellow, it just looks awesome. And so simplistic is their banner. Just a black lion on a... On a yellow field. It just all, looks awesome. Not as simplistic and as awesome as the Templars though. Theirs will always be my favourite uniform I think. They are definitely one of my favourite looking uh, units. But I mean it looks like. They've, most of the attacks have got most of their stuff inside now. Um, I don't know if like Nicaea has got his carry out here. Because he's going for a flank around the side. But it's not much to go for. Trey's also got. Oh no this is Burgundy. Burgundy's got scouts. And he's got some. Gendarmes. So he's defending the flank quite well. They've got a lot of reserves back here. Oh, and they're breaking through here. This is a huge cause. But well, they're not breaking through. There is still a unit here, but it's going to lose Roos Mercenaries. And I'm having to send up, what's this? Pavis going in. And this is a cause for concern as well, actually. They've forced us back here. These order swords and chevaliers must have been fighting here for ages. And there we go. What's this unit going? Oh, dismounted chevaliers. They've broken through. So they've broken through and they're starting to flank. We now have swordsmen going in here. My pavy spears are starting to go up here. I think this this area here is lost. Um, obviously, when we were playing it in real time, we didn't think so. I thought We thought we could still hold this. But I think this is an area that we should start to really give up. We should start to fall back to maybe here and here. Just hold these choke points because we're starting to get a little stretched. I mean, we need to certainly... Portugal... There is hope that Portugal can burst his way through here. I mean, he's actually doing quite well. Trier is uh, losing, I'd say. Uh, these halberdiers don't seem to be doing much. I 
I just realised that Portugal has heart-shaped shields. Look at that. That's a heart-shaped shield. That's very cool. I don't know if they actually had that. But they must have done because 1212 is pretty uh, on point with its uniforms. Oh. But yeah, Trier is definitely losing this fight. Is he wavering yet? No. But he's not having much fun. And now he's trying to set up archers, which is getting focused down now. What were they getting for? Oh, by more archers. Uh, municipal archers are focusing down those crossbows. So that's pretty good. They're pretty bloodied up. I just want to see another more shot. Still hidden. How much ammo has it got left? Out of interest. Oh, it's got well over half. Well, not well over half, but just over half. But there we go. So that unit of Chevaliers is now wavering and gone. Well, broken and gone. Um, and we're going to break this unit here. Which is good. We are winning this fight. But they've got more to come. More dismounted Chevaliers. Burgundy's just got an endless supply of them. Well, here they come. Marching in. They do look good in their bright uniforms. I think 13th century, like the tier 1, is some of the coolest looking units. Because as the further you go on, they just become plate armor. That was a very good volley into the rear of these... Uh, of the, uh, what are they? Are they um, the Angle, anglo Varangel? Yeah, like the English Varangians, aren't they? We've got Dismounted Hospitallers here. They really need to go in. Like, these guys could just flank on in. Actually, I need to really get my hood on. Get the hood on. Flank on in. They keep the charge into the side of these swords. But it looks like the anglo Varangel are going to charge in. And they're going to get the charge on the uh, Dismounted Hospitallers. Excellent, there we go. Look at that. Fighting oh gosh, if I can get in there. Fighting in the in the columns. Looks awesome. Yeah, these guys are pretty damn cool, I won't lie. I mean the the branching guard like by this pin point look awesome. I think if they had like a shield unit, like a shielded unit with axes, that would be even cooler. Make them a little bit more tough as well. But what we got here, we got Ducal Heavy Foot Guards. Okay, this is this is a tier two unit. I guess this is most elite. Might be his most elite uh, infantry. Has he got more of it? We've got lots of uh, what have we got back here? Order swords. I'd say that's his most elite sword unit. I think Burgundy's basically out of infantry. He's got a halberdiers back here as well. Okay, so we actually brought a halberdier and a pike unit. Okay, I do like the look of these guys. Ducal Household Gizarmia. Yes, and like, look at that, look at that, with the uh, Burgundian uh, coat of arms on there, looks awesome. What have they got back here? They've got a shock and they've actually got plenty of stuff left. They're running out of swords, but they've got certainly other useful stuff. What is this? Have they used all their ammo from their culverine? Surely not. Where is their culverine? Oh, they're here. Okay, so their culverines are here. But then they pulled the crew back. I guess it's kind of a smart move. There's a lot of archers around here. We've got halberdiers going in. This is a pre pretty weak unit of uh, Portuguese halberdiers. Desperately trying to hold on to this area here. Those anglo Ranjoy are falling back. They're getting peppered though. And so are those halberdiers who are also falling back. This is not good. That's just sort of giving up. Well, I guess there's some swords in here for Portugal. But look at this mess that's going on here. Everyone and everyone's fought in this area here. All the defenders, all the attackers. I mean, apart from Trier. But five out of the six players have all fought here. And there's bodies littered. So many nations. Excellent. Chop some heads off. And they're, in they go into the next fight. Now find some Ducal swords. These are going to be pretty tough to break through. These guys are starting to get, guys are starting to get those, that plate armor I was talking about. They still look pretty, though. And now we've got a flank going on here. Looks like by those Anglo of Ranjo. They're going to get some good kills. Into the side here against those uh, foot chevaliers. I mean, this is his... Or oh, dismounted chevaliers. This is his final unit, I think. Well, final fresh unit. A lot of them are returning, but they're pretty weak. Trier's still got quite a bit, then. But he's still doing a bit... Still doing pretty Okay. I was about to say bad, but he's not. He's killing a lot of stuff off. Uh, but yeah, I mean, these swords here, they're actually... Well, this is huge, because, I mean, if they can break through this one unit of Elector Knights, which I'm sure they can. I mean, I've sent forward some swords as well, but they're not going to get there in time. They can break through that one unit of um, 
Electonites, and there's not much in the way. I mean, there's uh, Pabby's crossbows, there's Trace infantry. I mean, now they're just going to stand here. They're going to fall back. I think they're going to put those crossbows up in front of them. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty awful execution. These swords here are now going to have to just get taken out by these Pabby's crossbows. Either they fall back to their original spot and get shot in the back, or they stand here and get shot in the front. He's, he's go opting for the sh being shot in the front. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. They're dropping like flies. Over here, though, we have some success for the defenders. Trier is wa wavering again. Oh, it's not even Trier, it's Burgundy. I keep thinking this is Trier, but Burgundy's also here with his endless Chevaliers. So many of them. But they are starting to go. They are starting to disappear. This is the final unit. Portugal is still holding here with his spears. He's doing a very good job. He's also sending Portuguese nobles over here now. I think mainly because this area here is starting to cause a lot of problems to the defenders. Look at this. This small unit of Angle over Angoy. There they go. They're going to make one last brave charge into these pavis. Kill as many as you can. Kill as many of these goddamn cowards. Hide them behind their huge shields. And I can't quite get the angle right on my camera because of a goddamn obstacle. But there you go. Have a look at those boys. And they're going to fall back. Like the cowards they are. Killed a good three. Those three deserved it. But it looks like the Culverine's coming up. Looks like uh, Burgundy's going to put his uh, crew back on the Culverine. No it looks like they're going to... Oh, and the Cavalry's coming in. This is going to be a good charge. Very nice charge on the uh, Pavi's crossbows. Those Portuguese nobles getting a very nice charge. Now they need to get out of there. Get those boys out of there. Because uh, we've got some Trey Swords coming in. Okay, and... Burgundy's given up putting his men back on that on that uh, artillery by the looks of it. And I don't know, Trey's a little bit late to this one. Not going to lie. His like tonight, I mean, they can take out this small unit of Anglo over Anglo, but it's it's pretty done anyway. It's done its duty. They've pretty much done their duty. Oh my gosh, how much cavalry is coming in? They really want to take out this one unit of uh, Anglo over Anglo. They're going to put two units of cavalry here. Good time to take out this uh, bunching with archers. Talking of archers, there aren't many here. But here's a cavalry charge by the attack. Another one by the attackers. By the looks of it. Coming. It looks like it's going to be some hospitalers. Charging some sergeants. This is going to be painful. They're in shield wall, but they still break through. I feel like this is a problem. I, I mean, for infantry to form shield wall, they should still... They should do an okay job, but then holding against cavalry. We cut a few of them down, but not many. We did kill all those order swordsmen here. Good God, look at all the bloodied, um, like, uniforms. Just all the red and white uniforms covered with more red of uh, strawberry jam blood. But we've got more order swords ready to go in, but I think uh, the Hospitaler Knights are just going to do cycle charges. I don't know. Well, that unit's down to 67 from 100, from 120, which isn't great. Okay, looks like they're also just going to... Oh, this is not good. Okay, so they're just going to start shooting their culverine at us. Um, I'm setting up my Pavi's crossbows, I think, to try and take out that the artillery, but it's nearly out of ammo anyway, so it's a bit of a waste of time. Huge problem here, though. Um, my Flemish uh, sergeants broke. I didn't even realize, and I hadn't realized when doing the replay either. But, um, so, it looks like... Uh, Jerusalem's made a large amount of uh, progress, but I mean, it's mainly because he's got his uh, hospital caravan up here. These guys are getting a really good angle into uh, my Flemish sergeants. Look at those boys, all the way down there. All right, all right, keep it, keep it to yourselves, men. I'm trying to keep this PG, or as PG as possible. But yeah, so he look, he's piling in a lot of stuff here. Could really flank around with the unit here. Um, I was debating it, I think. I was going to put my dismounted Count uh, retinue in. It's my only unit of shock infantry I decided to bring. He has got a lot of hospital caravan here defending ready. So if I charge round, he's just going to focus them down in the back. So I've not really got much of an option on what to do. We've got plenty of archers coming over here now. Look at the amount of archers that uh, Portugal's going to actually commit to focus down this unit. I said, just focus this guy, these, these guys down and I can win this flank easy. So he was like, right, I'm going to bring up all my archers. Uh, Pope's command is... Well, Pope's 
wishes my command. And I mean, look at this. Flemish sergeant's here, desperately trying to kill these hospitalers. How many of them are left? 48. We hardly killed any of them, but here we go. These uh, order swords are in here now. And this is a huge problem. What we got here, we've got Pavi's crossbows now. Ready. I don't know why these guys are here, but I think Code Red has been given. And we're starting to get stuff out. I uh, sent my swords forward. I was like, right, we'll uh, send these boys forward to help. But in the end, they didn't even get needed. I mean, I think they're my best looking guys. They look excellent. They are very, very pretty. I'm liking the checkered uh, shields. And also they've got like a weird lime green and red scheme going on, which I'm kind of all for. Different from the uh, yellow and black. I mean, La Flanders is definitely also slowly becoming one of my favorite factions, certainly for the defense. And also because they just look very pretty. I mean, I'm a man of taste. And I do like my, uh, my uniforms. Templars and Flanders, certainly up there. And they're fighting each other now. What else could I wish for? I mean, look at this long line. Look at that long line of chaos going in there. A mix of Hospitallers, Templars, and some yellow boy sergeants. Oh, look at this guy. He's got his mask on. He's, uh, he's uh, upholding the lockdown laws. He clearly is taking this uh, very seriously. But, I mean, we're starting to prepare our final defense. We've got a uh, dismounted Count's retinue here. We've got Flemish Count's bodyguard. We've got lots of generals, lots of cavalry left. We actually do have a lot of cavalry left. We've got uh, Portuguese nobles all the way over here. But I mean, Portugal's huge flank that he was making. Look at this. It's just all gone for nothing. I think he's getting focused down by these uh, Trey Pavi's uh, crossbows here. All gone. Just evaporated. But I mean, I think he did take out all... I mean, you can see the bodies. He took out a lot of Trier stuff as well. None of them are looking very good. I mean, the balance power is never, ever in our favor. We did outnumber them at one point, but it didn't really matter because most of it was militia. But um, it, they now outnumber us 500 uh, by 500 men. Uh, so the final fight that's really going on is over here. And it's these uh, Flanders sergeants. This officer with his black armor as well. I think the officers look so cool. And there we go, these uh, sergeants are starting to waver, starting to fall back. They may return, but um, I think they're going to get chased down probably by cavalry before they can get back inside the final defense. And that's just one unit of Flemish sergeants holding all these guys back while the rest of our army sets up into a final defense. There they go, the, the unit's just also now retreating into the front line, so that's just not helping. I could have used you, 44 men. And there we go. They have broken. And now it's, uh, well, this cavalry's actually charged up here. This is a strange move by... Uh, by Drew Sum. I think he was, I think this unit wasn't quite set up in time, so he tried to get in inside the uh, settlement. Just caused as much problems as possible, but I mean, we've got a small unit of spears here. Now we've got a very big unit of spears. Some, they are only militia, though. I mean, they might break this uh, Portuguese spear unit. I mean, I think they're, yeah, they're actually winning. Wow, that's surprising. But we've got plenty of archers left. Um, Quite a lot of ammo as well. We've got lots of crossbow. I've got a whole unit over here with full ammo. So this is going to be huge. Um, but unfortunately, the crossbows don't like to fire over these walls. I was like, oh, they'll be fine. This isn't a high wall. You can shoot from here. Like here, for instance. I was thinking, oh, yeah. You could shoot somewhere over here. No. They don't want to do it. Look, they don't even want to face the right way. They're not even going to do it. But I mean, the archers, they'll happily shoot over this wall. And they're, uh, this isn't the greatest of targets. This is a pretty hard angle. I'd be shooting maybe, I don't know, maybe the cavalry? Or certainly these unit, this unit coming up here, this dismounted hospital unit. A fresh unit. Take these guys out or certainly weaken them. Um, because, I mean, shock infantry is going to be huge. And I think, there we go. I think I'm giving them the order to sh start shooting them. But they're also just going to go and hide down here. So they're just doing the same problem. They took out all our towers as well with their artillery. That was their first move with, the, uh, with their artillery when they got it inside. Take out all these towers. 
So we don't have any towers for the final defense. Um, but not the end of the world. We actually have some units over here. Um, I don't think they'd seen this. They were just going to cap uh, cap towers and stuff. And so this unit of Trey Electro Knights is actually going to get ambushed by the uh, Nicene Cavalry. So I guess that's a small victory for us. We're going to win that one. Um, and I think Portugal is going to send him as a small unit of shock infantry that also got trapped outside. So we'll break this Electro Knights, but they've seen it with more Hospitaler Knights over here. And what have they got here? More Electro Guard. Oh my gosh, yeah. Just kidding. They're just going to cause a lot of problems. Um, what is this? More Burgund oh, Burgundians, gendarmes. Yeah, they brought a lot of cavalry to the attackers. Like, I mean, this is a pretty big settlement, but it's not that cavalry friendly. I mean, I'd say the, the person who's done well with their cavalry was uh, Jerusalem. He did get some good hammer and anvils off of my uh, sergeants. Apart from that, I would say uh, there was no real need to bring cavalry. I mean, the defenders brought some because I guess there's always the chance of a sally out. You've always got to believe in a sally out, but uh, not really much else in the offing. But anyway, I mean, that combat's basically over. I mean, I'll... Yeah, well, it's basically over, yeah. This is kind of all that's going to go down. So I'm going to make a quick cut again and uh, just return to you when, uh, like, they start to clash. There is a large build-up. There's a lot of skirmishing that goes on, but... There's no real need to show that. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we are back. Um, well, there has been a bit of a skirmish phase, but it is starting to heat up now. Trier is sending troops forward. We've had a little bit of a skirmish over here, um, but nothing massive. Um, the culverine over here for Trier has also been broken. They tried to get, bring it all the way forward, and it got focused down. Um, Burgundy's is still very much operational. and shooting stuff. I think it is actually shooting into here. Um, they are also, I think, doing a lot of damage to Trier's own troops. Um, but they are, yeah, they're still trying to hit these mushes spears up here. We had a small charge by, uh, well, by the, uh, art, well, the catapult crew for Jerusalem. And someone tried to take out the goddamn mortar, which you can't forget we still have. We still have a mortar, which is still causing havoc. It's been doing a few shots. It's uh, not hit anything massive yet. It is going to put a volley in. I just realized it loads bolts. It loads bolts. That's so weird. It loads bolts but then fires out huge stones. Where is it going to go today? Over here. Okay, it's going to hit this huge clump of uh, cavalry. Not a bad hit. Uh, did it take many out? I don't know how many were in this unit, but it certainly killed quite a few. Oh my gosh, I actually did get quite a few. About five or six. And these gendarmes, if you lose five or six, is pretty huge. And it's also doing HP. Like, it's doing damage to the HP, so like... They're going to have a lot less hit points now. I mean, what is also firing over here? So, okay, so we have a Hospitaller Caravan firing at my uh, Swordsman of St. Michael, which I don't appreciate because, uh, well, these guys are goddamn awesome. Look at their banner as well. I didn't even see this. St. Michael, like the Archangel, that's an awesome banner. They go into so much detail in 12.12. I can't, you just can't forget it. You should not forget how much. I mean, I think the Mortar Crew is about to change its target and start shooting here. I think because I remember giving the order to shoot here because this was causing a problem because I couldn't outgun them. Well, I thought I couldn't when really I could have. I could have sent these boys over here to come and help, which I should have done. And they would have broken these guys. But here we go. A charge coming in. Excellent. Keep blowing these boys up. Hopefully this will deter them and send them back. Save my uh, swords one more... Uh, Volley, uh, oh gosh, they're not even shooting the, uh, them anymore, they're shooting the crossbows behind. Oh, that was a good hit. I think that was just a delayed one, and that's just killed off a load of Ducal Foot Guard. Another one back here as well. It is running out of ammo soon, though. The mortar is very close to running out of ammo. And there we go. So it looks like they did a cavalry charge down here. That Trier sword unit that was just ch chilling here. Oh my gosh, that was a really good hit, though, by the Culverine. Yeah, the, the uh, tree unit was chilling here. Just got charged by those cavalry and then some shock infantry. Oh, that looks... Oh, my gosh. Look at the hole they've just put in there. I mean, it's militia spears. If anyone's going to get hit, I'd rather it was them. Um, but we do now have a charge here from the uh, Elector Guard. No, these aren't Electors Guard. These are... Um, what are these? Oh, Dismount Chevaliers again. But they're... Oh, okay. They're, third, they're tier three. Okay. The shock infantry version. And now they're fighting... Um, 
My Pavis should do okay. Again, just holding them back. Slowing them down. We need to get archers, archers in here to shoot these guys. But I'm a bit concerned if we have ammo left. This unit here has archers uh, left. Oh, has archers left. Has ammo left. Um, but I mean, yeah, that's about it. These Pavis here need to be able to start firing, but they're not really. And here we go, reforming the uh, Pavis wall. And there we go, that unit's breaking, but there's going to be a cavalry charge here. So these swords of St. Michael, they did their thing, but now they've got to face what the Flemish sergeants did. And that's Hospitaller Knights charging at you. This is not going to end well. Oh, yeah, look at that. I form shield wall as well. This is what happens, you form shield wall and they still break through. This guy's got the whole way through. I don't know really if that should happen. I, I don't know. I mean, it's a lot of cavalry. It's pretty heavy cavalry, cavalry as well. But yeah, now the sword's going in um, against this broken formation. They're not going to do so well. They went from like 100 down to 80, so they lost like a good 20 men. And we're shooting a few of them as they return. Get what they deserve. Kill a few of the bastards. But we are actually going to break that sword unit again. And that's fine with me. I was ready to send this uh, dismounted Count's retinue forward as well, which we've not actually had a look at. I kind of want to have a look at these guys. They do look awesome. Very cool. Here we go. Another charge coming. Oh, I missed that one. But yeah, that was just as devastating. Lost about another 10 men doing that. Probably lose about another 10 in this combat. And then he'll do it again in a moment. Or he won't. Oh, his cavalry is actually wavering. Thank God we're breaking his cav. But he's wavering me. I mean, I'm at 50 men left. His swords of St. Michael are really, really good as well. We have another one back here, which I'm going to have to send forward to basically replace and just deal with the same problems. But, I mean, Jerusalem's looking pretty good now. He's got lot, His cavalry's certainly saving him. Um, he's got lots of archers. And he's got plenty of shock infantry. He's got some swords as well. What is it? And Burgundy's got his cab back here. I mean, the general bodyguard for Jerusalem's even safe as well. They've got plenty of reserves of the attackers. I mean, it's close, but it's uh, not close enough, I'd say. And now we have a uh, infantry fight going on out here. Looks like the angle uh, Varanjoy is going to go into combat here. Don't know if this was a misclick. Oh my gosh, what a hit. That was not good. That's done bad for both sides, really. The angle of Varanjoy definitely got pretty beaten up, but so did the Elector Guard. Yeah, dismounted Lex Guard. Like, look at that pass they just made there. Yeah, they're winning, but I think only just because of morale. Surely that went through these guys as well, I would have said, but apparently not. They don't even care. Okay, they're shooting at everything that's coming down here. We've got archers supporting here. Don't know why they're really going down to fight. Um, I guess it's not a bad idea, but it's not a brilliant one. I'd have kept the archers up top, use them in the choke in a better choke point. But what we've got here, we've got archers high, shooting all the way over here at this electric Trier. Trier needs to be careful with his general. He is now pulling him back. As the oh, and the mortars out of ammo. No. You can keep be on that position on the uh, mortar. You're not going to get any kills. I have got my uh, sword unit here ready. I think the plan is... Oh, I've got my crossbows in here again. I don't know why. They are actually winning decisively against uh, Shock Infantry. That is a surprise. But yes, the Pavi's crossbows and the Pavi spears will hold well. I don't know why I have my crossbows in here. They still have ammo. We really do with using that ammo. We've got one here with full ammo, which really needs to go up and help combat... Uh, Jerusalem, but I keep I just didn't realize that I couldn't fire here. I was still persistent. But the swords are gone. Um, they broke. We now have a dismounted Count Retinue over here ready. But he's going to set up his crossbows to shoot them, so I pull him back. And here we go. He's now sending forward his cav, or Trier sending forward his cav. Try and deal with my uh, crossbows. But we've got archers and uh, dismounted Count Retinue ready. And we've got cav. Entire units perished? 
I have no idea. But anyway, this is when I realized, let's send up this full unit of ammo. I've got this small one back here. This one's just going to shoot when these pavies eventually break, which will be soon, I think. There you go. They're wavering now, or they're losing now. And the plan is, is to let them up. I'm then going to directly fire into the side of them. And we've also got the Emperor's bodyguard here. And my swords then will go straight back in and defend when this is all done. Just going to let them up so we can uh, get some better kills. Unfortunately, they still have their pikes, which are now going to be huge because we've got very little ammo left. I've got a lot of uh, crossbow ammo, but it's not being very useful in uh, shooting them now. I mean, they've got their crossbows are actually shooting because this is a good angle for them to shoot at. Like, that's a good... That's a crossbow friendly angle they can just shoot it to the top of that and I guess on top of there but here we go more stuff going down they're just gonna constantly just defend this choke point I think they attacked this choke point a bit too early a more Anglo Vrangoy in here archers more archers I think I see is committing whatever he's got left now and uh, the cavalry what have we got here we've got cal elected guy that's just gonna persist this is a bold move. Oh, we're going to catch him, though. My general nearly caught him. But he's going to go back in. This is an interesting decision. And now my uh, Count's bodyguard... Oh, he's pulled out the charge, and he probably was better just staying, and he got shot. His men are getting shot by their allies. For the, That's what they get. And now I think is the final charge over here. So my Count's retinue are in against Electric Guard. Chop them down. Take the banner down. Dismounted uh, Hospitalis in her as well. More. Oh my gosh. How many dismounted Hospitalis has got left? This is two basically fresh units. We are breaking the uh, Electric Guard though. But we've got so much ammo left. I mean, look at this. Municipal archers. We've got so much ammo. And there we go. The charge is going off. Our plan is in place. What a charge by the general's bodyguard. That's just going to mince these uh, chevaliers of burgundy. I was trying. I was going to call them dismounted hospitalers, but they are not hospitalers. And there we go. The general is pulling out. In comes my uh, swords of St. Michael. And they'll now hold this choke point against more chevaliers. So There's a well-oiled machine. We let them up. I mean, I could actually probably start firing them with the crossbows now. What do we have going in here? We have archers with no ammo also going in. We are running out of stuff, though, desperately. Especially over here. Stuff is starting to waver. The pikes are not going to be helping. I mean, they're not quite in combat yet. But the attacks are running low. They are very, very low. But, I mean, what is the... Yeah, it's now 800 is the difference. Uh, I think it's going to be a it's going to be a a tough one for us to pull back. I mean, we are starting to lose a lot of stuff. I've now lost my count strategy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're gone, and um, they they're just not happy. I mean, it's now just down to Pavi's crossbows. They're desperately trying to just shoot as many volleys as possible while this small unit of Portuguese nobles holds them back. Look at all these guys here, desperately trying to get through. I think my general's going in now. Yeah, the general's going in. My uh, dismounted counts rescue's back. I think these Flemish Pavis are now in combat. It's just this one unit back here. It's got to burn through all this ammo. That's his only order. Burn through all the ammo we have, and we'll see where we get to. Looks like uh, the Portuguese general's also going over there. The Byzantine general's still doing cycle charges into the side here. This is probably doing... Not a lot of damage because he's got to go through his own R troops first. But this is the final stand. We've got nothing left now. This is it. We're out of stuff. The barrel is dry. There is nothing really left. It's this one unit here of uh, of archers. They desperately need it over here. I mean, look at this. This is a a real problem. We've got halberdiers up here now. So yeah, these archers are just losing slowly. We've just got to kill as many as possible. That is the aim. The aim of the game. But 
the brave Portuguese nobles now in here just holding them back. I mean, they don't, they look like they might be a tier one unit. Um, I think they are. Oh, wow, I'm getting it like in the way of this building. Yeah, they are tier one. Yeah, these guys probably aren't going to do too well. Even the king's bodyguards are uh, not of a great tier. I mean, my uh, general's bodyguards tier two. So we did, should, did, should do okay, is what I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh, they've got a whole unit back here of longbowmen that just starting to use their ammo now. The attackers have done really well in looking after their ammo. I mean, I guess we did as well because this unit was basically on full ammo. Um, it should also really win that fight against the, against the longbows. But I think it's got bigger problems than those longbows all the way back there. Yeah, I think we're trying to shoot these uh, crossbows first. But we are breaking stuff. Those calves, that's calves broken. We're going to break this order of swords. It's just all this shock infantry. It's just going to cut down a lot of stuff. Okay, so I think, uh, yeah, that's nicer out of everything. I think. Or might be actually, no, it might be Portugal. No, ne neither of them are out, really. I think it's just because Portugal's general's broken. The Allies like, oh, you, yeah, they've fled. No, they're still here. But we are breaking now on every front. And there you go, I think they're through here. There you go, they've, they're through. Burgundy and Trier have finally broken through here. And that's GG, really. If they break through one choke point, they have uh, they can surround all our others. And so it looks like the attackers are going to win today. So I'm just going to fast forward for uh, the benefit of the uh, video. Keep it as short as possible for you guys. But yeah, we're just uh, we're starting to just get focused down and killed now by any archers. And also just, we're so tired. Like, I mean, these units are actually only winded. They're against the tired units. But I mean, there's... Going up against cavalry with heavy shock infantry. Uh, we're going up against heavy shock infantry with cavalry, is what I'm trying to say. But, um. It's just not going to work. It's really not going to work. And we're going to end up just getting ourselves killed. I mean, we've just got to use these men to hold them back. And, yeah, we're breaking now. I mean, oh my gosh. Yeah, my general's been focused down and killed. And there he goes. He's dead. And now it's my Pavi's uh, crossbows. My final unit here. Trying to hold these guys back. Yeah, I think they're well and truly in on the other side. Yeah, it's just this, this alleyway here, which is under threat probably the most, is the one we've held up the longest. Look at this. Look at this absolute mad lad that is the Portuguese king trying to get through there. But there we go, a valiant defeat. And uh, we'll end the replay and have a look at the end results quickly. So, yes, I was playing as Flanders. I, I did do okay. My uh, crossbow's getting the most kills here with 210. Um, another one getting 105, and apart from that, like, my sergeants did okay, 97's okay, but my pavis, yeah, one kill, one of them got. That is awful, awful, and, um, I mean, yeah, my shock infantry did okay, 53, I guess. That, I don't know really what happened to them, they just got, kept getting charged down my cavalry and focused down, I guess, and it's just that combination, um, that kind of really, like, did us in. Um, but yeah, that's kind of really it, um, Nicaea here, um, did very well with his shock infantry, all getting over 100 kills, 160 the best, his militia spears. They did actually very well, they were just basically the same purpose as my pavis, they just held up everything and um, allowed our archers to do like a lot better. His mortar, 270 kills, his best unit on the battlefield, his archers is okay, 89 kills is okay, his roost mercenaries, never seen them really used before on the battlefield, did okay, 80, it's not bad. Um, Jilson here, um, yeah sorry, Reese Power was playing as Emperor of Nice. Uh, Empire of Nicaea, I don't know if I said. Jilson here playing as the Kingdom of Portugal. Did okay with his uh, shock infantry as well. I mean, one of them only got 19, which is a bit of a shame. The others did okay, 88 and 93. His spears, I mean, what happened here? 10, 16, set, uh, 4. Not doing great. His halberd is. It'd be nicer if they did better. And his um, swordsman did okay. 70 kills is okay. His archers did average as well, 70, 77. His cavalry did the best, actually getting 104 kills. Um, so, I mean, well played to both of them. Never played with either of them, but they were both great to play with and uh, real fun and good players. So, uh, well done to them. And then we'll go on to Dodgy Gob, who was playing as the Kingdom of Jerusalem and Cyprus. Um, his Dismount Hospital is getting 210 and 198. Excellent for them. Um, his Order Swords did okay, pretty average. Um, 89, the best there. Um, his Templars actually doing worse, uh, which is no surprise because they were a Tier 1 unit, getting only 56 kills. 
His foot turquoise got focused down by our archers and uh, mortars and just didn't do much. His hospital caravan, um, which was a real game changer, I thought, on that far flank, getting 177 kills. And his cavalry getting 164, uh, 61, sorry, and 145. And they did very, very well as well. The drunk Norwegian, who was playing as Burgundy, he did very well with his shock infantry as well, getting 170 kills and 134. His general getting 148 kills and still, like, staying intact. Very well done. His... Uh, Halberdiers getting uh, 230 sorry, uh, kills, they did very well. And then Chevaliers, I thought, for a tier 1 unit, most of them getting like 100 kills. They were well chevroned up in fairness, so that probably made the difference. His Ducal Heavy Foot Guards, 159 kills, very well done there. His Arch is pretty disappointing to be honest, only getting like 60 odd kills. And his Scouts getting 90 kills, actually doing better than his Burgundy and uh, Gendarmes. And his Culverin getting 340 kills, insane. Well done to him there. And then Aiden playing as Trier. So his uh, shock infantry did very well. Getting 220 kills. And the other one getting 108. And his uh, late unit getting 144. And then his... Uh, oh no, yeah, Elector Knights and Elector Guards. Are there two different late units? I did not know they had them. But anyway, and his uh, swords did okay. I mean, the best one doing... Uh, getting 169. Actually, that's very good. I mean, the rest did average. But that one stood stood out there and did did its job. And then we've got Trier Pavi's crossbows actually doing very well. All of them getting over 100 kills. He did very well with his archers. The best probably out of any player. 169, 278, 121, and 269. And his cavalry getting 135 kills. So they did also pretty well as well. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this 12-12 siege battle, then please do leave a like, subscribe, and a comment. Let me know that you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll keep producing this content for you guys. Um... And yes, there is going to be more, more, more 12-12 on the way. I've got more great replays and we have some more great plans for 12-12 in the near future. So I hope you guys enjoyed and like I said, keep up the support. And until next time, Legionnaires, 